You know, with these Build Back Better gas prices, you know, a fella's got to do just about anything he can just to save a buck or two. And well, this morning I got a treat for you, and I'm just going to go ahead and get right into this. A lot more fun if I just... Here, this is much better. Here. Come on, Sonny, let's take this thing to the next one. Oh. Well, that was awful nice of Sonny. Sonny, thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah! Well, hello and welcome back, my Slimy Green fam. I'm kind of excited. Now, what you see before you, I'm going to tell you about. This is a one year only model. It's the Honda Aero 125. Happens to be a two stroke. Was totally unaware of that when I bought it. I love two stroke stuff. I was a small engine mechanic for years. I still think they're the best running things out there. But what do I know? Really looking forward to getting this thing up and running. And let's just get to it. There's no sense in wasting any more time. I hope you're all doing real well. God bless you guys. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to do this. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So we're just getting started here. I had already pulled the side covers off. Should have got some footage of that, but I did not. Covers are in decent shape. Uh, we're just gonna kind of make a checklist of things that we need to go over initially. I know the fuel system is crap. It's got some garbage fuel in it. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and, I think number one, we're gonna pull the seat and fuel tank. So pull the seat, fuel tank. Uh, beyond that, we're gonna pull the carb. Clean it out, replace the fuel lines. Let's see, the air cleaner took that off. The foam was garbage, so we need a new air element. And while we're at it, uh, I did pull the plug. Uh, it wanted to check if you had sparks, see what the plug looked like. Really fouled out, and so we definitely need to get a new plug. Uh, beyond that, uh, we don't have to worry about changing the oil, but it does have a oil tank right back here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the line off the oil tank, drain that all out. Like I said, we're draining the tank out anyway. We wanna make sure we get all the oil fluids out, make sure all the passages are clear. And so we kind of got a checklist put together of initial things we gotta do. Uh, the battery that came with it, uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is that the battery ended up taking a charge. Uh, I was told that this unit has not run in a couple of years. And so, uh, was thankful that the battery took a charge. They're not overly expensive, you know, generally, uh, what, maybe 30, 40 bucks on the old eBay. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, tear into this thing, make sure we clean out all the components so that uh, we got at least a chance of this thing running and running smooth. Not a whole lot of damage on the unit. Uh, passenger mirror is broke off. I'm sure there's some sort of aftermarket parts out there available. Uh, so we'll get one of those ordered. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and tear into it first. That way we know exactly what we need to order. And we just get it all ordered at once, you know. There's nothing wrong with being organized, fellas. And so that's what we're going to try and do. Okay, moving on. When you look at the front of this bike, it screams 1980s. I mean, I can just hear some old 80s music rocking in the background. I mean, check out the console. Any of you remember the old boom boxes and stereos? I mean, when you look at this dash on this thing, the reds and the blues, the colors that they used back in the 80s, there's just something about it. Maybe it's just because I grew up back then that just screams awesomeness. Beans, it's a two stroke. I got a phone call from my wife. I gotta take this. Let's do that. Well, hello, sweetheart. How are you? Oh, I'm a little bit crazy, but I'm good. Well, we already knew that, but I appreciate you letting us all know. <laughs> Who all did I just let know? Well, everybody that ever watches this YouTube video will know what you just said. Sometimes you're not the person that was able to purchase that cool thing on Marketplace. And you're disappointed because you thought, oh, that was a great deal. and. Could have had so much fun with it. The reality is, is that, look at this. Now, somebody else could have bought this thing, thinking they was gonna get it running real easy, and then they would have found this little Loch Ness monster in there. <laughs> so, that was in our fuel tank.
Okay. I'm assuming somebody tried to line the tank. Maybe it wasn't properly cleaned. Maybe the product was no good. I don't know, but it didn't work. because we did not check out the oiling system. I think the way we're gonna test on her is if we can get the thing running, we'll run it on mixed fuel, okay? So we'll be running treated fuel, but then we'll keep an eye on the oil tank in the back. And if we can see that that oil tank is in fact feeding oil, uh, well then if we chose to at that point, we could decide to quit running mixed oil. Uh, but you know what? I'm probably gonna run this gas lane a little mixed anyway, just to keep the inside of that tank, you know, coated so that we don't get a bunch of frozen in there. Uh, that's anyway, that's, I think that's where we're at. That's where I'm at anyway. I think it's time for me to quit yapping, let you guys get back to whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, oh, which is watching this video, because it's not done yet. Okay. You know, it's been a long day. I'm going to wash my hands. Go get some dinner. Having a party. And everybody's singing, listen to the music, Whoa. on the radio, we're having a party, everybody's singing, listening to the music, on the radio. Well ladies and gentlemen, we're about ready to uh, Put the fuel sending unit back in. We got the tank cleaned out. It's mounted back on the bike. Happy about that. This is just a small portion of the garbage, if I hadn't shown you already, that came out of the tank, the old tank liner that somebody had installed. And it's uh, it's had a chance to dry up per day. And it's just, it didn't work out well. We're just gonna throw that in the garbage now. So you don't need to see anymore. Our next step though, is we're gonna get that fuel sending unit dry. Okay. Here's our fuel sending unit. While we had it out, we plugged it in and uh, I went and sprayed some WD-40 in there because it wasn't working real well, but once we lubricated that a little bit, fuel gauge was coming up and down when we powered the unit on. Our gasket is in, I would say, okay shape. So that's good. Because we're just gonna put it right back down there. Float goes, goes towards the front of the tank. Just like so. This metal retainer basically, it's got three tabs that it slides underneath and then you turn it until there's these little, I'm gonna call them tits that stick up until they turn all the way and lock in place. So far things turning pretty easy. Go ahead and fill this up. I put exactly two gallons worth of gas in this can.
We're just tired of building back better. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, you've heard it before. The adage is true. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a win in my book. This thing, after letting it run for 10 minutes, whatever that was, it really smoothed out. And it's, it's pretty peppy. You're not gonna do any burnouts with this thing, but we'll have to do another video on how fast can we get this thing going? I'm not a real heavy fellow. We might even hit 60. Wow, that runs surprisingly well. Say it's all right. Say it's all right. It's all right to have a good time. Cause it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. And it's all right, we got that. 1984 one year only Honda Aero two cycle two stroke up and running. I think for today's purposes, it's all right. Hey, if you liked what you watched, like and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody and pound that like button hard. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep things rolling on the channel. I appreciate you guys, God bless you. Go out there, be awesome, do awesome things, and we will see you on the next episode. Hey, hey. <laughs> see ya.